Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our next match of the evening. For the first time in CWF history, it is a 30-minute Iron Man match where at the end of 30 minutes, the competitor to achieve the most victories by pinfall or submission will be declared the winner. And now, introducing first, about to make his way to the ring. Audience at home, grab your snacks. Make sure you got everything because this is going to be a long one and this is going to be a brutal one. Getting ready for a 30 man, minute Iron Man match. There was a conspiracy, a conspiracy in which put a bounty on this man's head. A bounty in which his opponent collected on. And now, he's looking for payback. And the Marshall's opponent about to make his way to the ring. Talk about Banny, Bounty. We got the man who collected on the Bounty. And here he is right here. The man that collected on the Bounty. Justin Flo, the Flo Hawk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was getting ready to getting ready to start my introduction for the Flo Hawk. The Flo Hawk not waiting. With the steel chair, crashing it down onto the marshal. Well, and we have our first fall right here. That's a DQ. That's... That's, that's three DQs. That's three DQs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's three DQs for the Flow Hawk. And just like that, Marshall Briggs is already up three to zero. Or excuse me, our counter's saying two. That's two, that's two, two DQs. Two for, to zero. Two to zero so far. Wait a minute, no! Ladies and gentlemen, that is one pinfall for the Flowhawk. And now, now it's three, Donnie. Getting ahead of yourself. All right, there we go. The three. Getting another one for the Marshal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is another pinfall victory for the Flowhawk. I think the strategy here was, you know, eat a few DQs, weaken this the Marshal, and then, you know, he's just slim pickings. Right now, the Marshal only ahead by one. 
No. Only a one. Just like that, the first few minutes, five to six is already. Flow up flying and sending the marshal's head the crashing score, into that mat. Yeah. We were at 20 minutes, 28, 23, and counting down. There we go. Marshall now for the now in control for the first time in this match is trying to oh, poke in the eyes. Referee gonna give the Flowhawk a warning here. You know, Flowhawk wasting no time. Oh! Kicking the leg of Marshall Briggs. A little callback. You know, it was all the way back at Conspiracy. We thought that the Mar or we thought that the Marshall, the last voltage rather, was out of wrestling for good. Working in the submission now. But it, but it was all a ploy to get the Flowhawk in the ring. Marshall's leg was just fine, and that's when he challenged the Flowhawk for this match. But it's a smart strategy. Go for the leg, try to take the breath out of him very early, make it a long 30 minutes for Marshall Briggs. He can't fight for 30 minutes if he can't breathe, if he can't stand. Of course, you know, Darion, we know that the Marshall, we know that the Marshall is, is tough as leather. Hold on. It's gonna be another. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. The arm didn't drop for a third time. Still fight left in the Marshall. This still tied up three and three. Trying to get out of it. Working on the leg now of Flowhawk. Marshall able to get out of that submission hold. And now kicking the leg of the Flowhawk. Flowhawk running like a scalded dog. Still plenty of fight left in the Marshall. And Darren, we have seen the wars that the Marshall can face or can go through. Won that three stages of hell match against Nathan Sims. And now, gonna put the Flowhawk through hell here, it would seem. Oh, think Marshall has devious plans for that leg. What's going on? No, you can't do this, you can't. Oh, sending the leg crashing into the steel post. When flesh and bone meet steel, Flesh or still wins every time. Oh, extra, once again. Extra added damage with that shot to the head, which made his head ricochet out the ring post with a little extra damage. No love lost between the Flow Hawk and Marshall Briggs. Marshall Briggs said earlier in the night he was going to put his boot up the ass of the Flow Hawk. Hey, Johnny, is, this is a family show. I'm, I, you're right, I'm sorry. Right now, Flowhawk concentrating once again on that left leg of the Marshal. Ladies and gentlemen at home, I, I apologize for my partner. You can't say ass on the air. What you can say is that the Flowhawk fixing to do some damage here, going for another submission hold. Like we said, the refer or well, like we said, Marshall Briggs is tough as leather. Referee gonna see here if he taps. Submission a submission. Victory here would send the Flowhawk ahead four to three. Right now we're tied he at three and three. Being stretched right now. Little under 25 minutes remaining in this matchup. First time ever here in the Coastal Wrestling Federation, a 30 minute Ironman match. Marshall trying to power out of it as best he can. Now the Flowhawk there. Got it in the eye, it would seem, making some distance between him and the marshal. But you see the marshal clutching that leg. And as, as I was saying earlier, it in a way all started with the leg. The marshal had a bounty placed on his head. And it was during a match with his protege, Christian Garrett and Nasty Nate Matthews. Flohawk attacked him from behind and injured that leg. Are these, are these two looking for another D2, DQ? Flowhawk wanting to use that steel chair. Marshall saying, uh uh. Marshall missing with the steel chair. It's a drop kick from the Flowhawk. No. That was two. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, a pinfall for the Flowhawk. Flowhawk ahead now by one.
That, that drop kick did just enough. Yes, it did. And now but Marshall it, showing no did mercy. Did it do too much to Justin Flo? I think it did. Marshall just, oh! Marshall giving no quarter to the Flohawk, just stomping on that, on that injured leg that he sent crashing into that steel post. Pulling Flohawk back into the center of the is ring. For, is it, oh, is he gonna go for it? I think he is. Is he sharp shooting tonight? The Marshall. All he's got to do is turn him over. Flohawk banging and pleading. And he's the Marshall showing his sharp out. shooting. Marshall has the legs crossed. Sink you get in good and tight. Is he gonna tap? What's he, he gonna just do? May. There's still a lot of time on this clock. He doesn't wanna. He doesn't want to spend all that time in this submission. Little under 23 minutes remaining. Flohawk trying to reach for that bottom rope. And he gets it. Marshall going to have to break the submission hold. Has to the count of five. Going to make every second as agonizing as possible for the Flohawk. But you see Marshall, he's staggering a little. Damage already done on him. Both men just early, early going to this match. chairs will do that to you. It, and now yes, they will. Like now working up. on the ankle lock. I hear certain Olympians in professional wrestling do very good with that submission hold. Will it work for the Marshall here, though? Flohawk up on one foot. Oh! Kick right to the Marshall. That'll send you crashing down. Shipping the referee out of the way. Very strategic. Flohawk willing to use any means possible. We saw there he was willing to eat three DQs early in the match just to soften up the Marshall to then tie it all up. Might be ready to eat another one. Well, they got to get back in the ring here. Referee counting at two now. Counting to three. And uh, Flohawk, oh, stomping on the leg once again of the Marshall. Flohawk once again with that steel chair. Think he has ill intent with it. Oh, no, 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 no. This is how he collected on the bounty in the first place. Oh, missed. missed. Now at nine, both men at the last second able to break the count. Has, he has grip with the chair right now. Has grip with that chair. He probably won't mind eating a DQ if he can slam it into the Flohawk. Doing just that. And that's a DQ. That's another D. That's two DQs. That's three DQs. And a fourth DQ. Ladies and gentlemen, that is four DQs on Marshall Briggs. And a kick out from Justin Flo. Justin Flo ate all those chair shots and was able to kick out. And we are seven to three now in Flo Hawk's favor. What's Marshall Briggs using the same gambit on Flo Hawk that Flo Hawk used on him. Eat a few DQs, but soften up your opponent. I, I, I'm all for softening up the opponent, but was that a little bit too much? I mean, look at the score right now, eight to three. Was 20, that smart? Was 20 that minutes remaining in much? this matchup. It might have been a little too much. Still plenty of time to pull. Still plenty of time to pull ahead, though. And you just gotta watch, make sure this isn't the choke because he could always be disqualified once again. Marshall bouncing off the ropes. Leg drop onto the flow hawk. Like a real American. No! Flohawk able to power out. Referee saying it was only two. Flohawk able to kick out again, but you gotta think, with every kick out, he's expelling energy, he's wasting energy. Hey, look at you paying attention now. Oh, I've learned from the best, even you. I'll still throw you over the safe. I'm sure you would. Marshall now just taking a moment to pause. Flohawk down on the ground, can't even He's stand and fight. He's wondering what he needs to do. The chair shots are not keeping him down. What does he need to do? Well, the timer is ticking, and oh, no, excuse me. It's 8-3 to three for the Flohawk. Marshall's got a five-gap, you know, got a five-victory gap there he's got to close. Catching him now. Rock Wonder what he needs to do. This might be it. And he got it. Ladies and gentlemen, a pinfall for the Marshal.
Closing the gap ever remember, so Remember, Justin Flo was still up by four. Justin Flo still up by four, by four. Still plenty of time left. Clock is ticking down fast. Under 20 minutes remaining. Saying this is for you here. Marshall saying this is for you. This is for the fans. Another rock bottom. Marshall hooking the leg. Another fall. Ladies and gentlemen, another pinfall for the Marshall. Coughing, coughing now from the Flowhawk. I'm surprised he's not coughing up blood. You know, Flowhawk and the early goings of this match was on the offense, but now at the mercy of the Marshall, and the Marshall has very little mercy left to give. I hope the Flowhawk invested that bounty very well because uh, he's going to need it to pay his medical bills. I'm sorry, I hope the Flowhawk invested that money well. Marshall I giving no quarter the top there. Of this match, this match is going to be brutal and brutal it is. Score now five to eight. Marshall slowly but surely closing that gap. He might want to pick up the pace because 15 minutes is getting real close. Yes, it is. Sending the Flowhawk crashing into that top turnbuckle near the corner there. And dropping him down onto the mat. Marshall going to try to get another pin pinfall here. No! Waited a little too long there. Flowhawk able to kick out. Marshall telling him to come here. Got plenty more in the gas tank, it would seem. Marshall in control here, though. Those chair shots he did into the Flowhawk paying more dividends than the chair shots. Waking him in the eyes. Flowhawk was playing possum. Double Both been colliding line. with each other. Disqualified. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a disqualification against the Flowhawk. Disqual disqualifying him there. Four. Referee took a little moment, but he informed me. I made the announcement. I think now this, the score is six to eight. This might be a knockout. If Marshall doesn't get to his feet. If both these men don't get to their feet. Flowhawk clutching that left knee. Marshall trying to get back up to his feet. Oh, once again, concentrating on the left leg of Marshall Briggs. Very smart to do in a match like this. Just Well, just the longer you're on that knee, I mean, just standing on it causes stress on those tendons and muscles. Oh, sitting that, I heard bend, the Marshall all the, the way from bend. here. I, I saw the bend in that knee. Oh. Flowhawk saying a knee for a knee. I heard the marshal cry out in agony. It is very rare that I have ever heard him cry out like that. He sounded like Johnny Romano for a second. Really? I said what I said. Of course you did. This crowd chanting, let's go, Marshall. Firmly behind him. Under 15 minutes remaining. Flowhawk with a slow kick there to the left leg. Throwing him into the ropes. Picking Marshall up and slamming him Base down on the plan. mat. But you see, you know, that, Nate. That took a lot out of him. Flowhawk crawling over there. Going to try to get a pin attempt. He can't take full advantage of it. That might have been a little too long. No. Did he get it? Looking at the referee. Referee saying two. no, it was only two. It was a close one, but it was two. But you know, Flowhawk still ahead, eight to six. And the timer is counting down. Marshall still got time, but it is dwindling away.
Flow Hawk back in control oh, he here. Gonna oh, another stretch. Oh, no, another pin, pin attempt. Hit. No, Marshall able to able to power out. Guess Flow Hawk took a little too long there. Now Flow Hawk going to lay those strikes in on the head of Marshall Briggs. Marshall Briggs just having to eat eat him, unable to defend himself, if only momentarily. But you see the grimace and the agony on the Flow Hawk. The damage has been done to him too. And that's the cause of trying the long to choke the life, like this. trying to choke the life out of Marshall Briggs. Is that even allowed? I guess so. Wait, Marshall's got the arm. Marshall's got the uh, Marshall's got the Flow Hawk trying to get into the submission maneuver. And he's got it. Marshall Briggs has it locked in good and tight. Flow Hawk made a mistake. Waited too long. Is he gonna tap? Referee's checking. Marshall's got the submission locked in good and tight. Flow Hawk trying to pick him up. You hear the grunts of frustration? No. Flow Hawk coming crashing down. Marshall able to choke the life out of him. An expert triangle hold right now. Locking in good and tight. Marshall's been watching his MMA. I've never seen the Marshall employee a submission hold like that. He's been doing his homework very well prepared for the Flow Hawk. Flow Hawk, it looks like he's passed out. Arm crash to the mat once, twice, three times. No. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a submission victory for the Marshall. Marshall. Marshall Briggs closing the gap. Only we are now seven now. to eight. Exactly, only down by one. About 10 minutes remaining in this matchup. Referee now okay. counting. You can see the cost of this match. Both men have been hit with a steel chair. Both men have had vicious submissions applied to them. Both men have given everything they have here in this ring. And, and there's still time on the clock. Still about, like I said, it's about 10 minutes remaining. They're gonna give Referee a now at more. eight. Both men trying to get back to their feet. Flowock crashing back down. Marshall back to his feet first. Now Flowock back to his. Striking the Marshall. But Marshall's still standing. Flowock only on one knee. Flowock back up to his feet, but staggering. Marshall now striking the Flowock. And the Flowock just crashing into that middle rope there, that thing holding him up, or having to use that thing to help hold him up. You're being an uppercut on the Marshall. But Flowhawk is staggering. He's seeing... He can barely stand. Flowhawk, th I guess, so thought he let was... let him know what he thinks about Marshall. Flowhawk maybe uh, ate that clothesline, and he got him! And we are Ladies all and tied up. Another pinfall for the Marshall, and we are all tied up at eight and eight. Well, this match started very quickly with a deficit for the Flowhawk, and then he was able to leap ahead, but now the Marshall has tied him back up. But you gotta think, how much is left? We are under 10 minutes here in this match. Neither man can, they can both barely make it to their feet right now. There might not be anything left. Well, they need to have enough left in the gas tank for about nine more minutes. Marshall having to use those ropes to get back to his knees. Flowhawk back to, no, spoke too soon. Flowhawk taking a sit there. Marshall's got the, the aid of the ropes. Justin Flow looking to do the same thing. Marshall back up to his feet, but you know, Marshall's so injured, so wore out, so tired. He's got a, he's got some distance between him and the Flow Hawk. No man can no man really has energy to do anything at this moment. Marshall throwing all his body weight into the Flow Hawk. The Flow Hawk holding onto that top rope, trying to stand on his feet. Marshall just sending that arm crashing into the Flow Hawk there into the corner again and again and again and again. All the hate and anger that the Marshall has for the younger competitor just pouring out into those strikes. And I'd say that the Marshall has made good on his promise and made good on his promise and taking the Flowhawk out to the woodshed, so to speak. 
but the Flohawk has given as good as he's taken. Hey, it ain't over until it's over, and it is not over yet. About eight minutes remaining in this matchup. Marshall it closing be in. With Marshall. Now, yeah, the time for pleading is over. Should have been doing that before the bell rang. Flohawk not the first man to test the Marshall and had to pay the price for it. Uh, you would know, wouldn't you, Donnie? I was proven innocent of he all was charges. Ooh, still some defiance in the flow hot. Still a little bit of wind beneath the wings, if you will. Flowhawk showing all kind of disrespect to the marshal, even in his final moments, it would seem. Once again, you know yourself what happens when you get disrespect. And Marshall just stomping. I lost count. Just stomping a hole into the Flowhawk. Stomping you, you a mud hole, if you will. He's in dangerous territory right now. Very dangerous territory. The referee offering a lot of leeway right now. Referee offering a lot of leeway, as you said, under eight minutes remaining in this matchup so far. Flohawk has nothing left to give. Was holding on to those ropes. Marshall yanking him off there and just crashing back down into the mat. And you see Marshall... You know, he's taking his time. He wants to do some more damage to the younger competitor. Wait, going to get the pinfall here. No! Marshall waited too soon. Still fight left in the Flohawk. The Flohawk able to break the pin attempt. Still tied up at eight and eight. Under seven minutes remaining. This crowd chanting Marshall, Marshall. No love for the Flohawk, all love for Marshall Briggs, the founder of the Coastal Wrestling Federation, the lawman of this fine wrestling organization. Referee now at five. Both men trying to break the count. And you know, Cleve, or you know, uh, Darion, you've been in matches. Wait, 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 what? I always, I, you know what, sometimes I trip up in matches like this, but you've been. You've been in this, you've been in positions like this. What do you got to do? Where do you have to dig? You just got to keep fighting, that's all. Keep fighting. It's easier said than done, but that's all you can do is keep fighting. Marshall on the outside. Nothing Flo you can Hawk do back during to his the feet. match. It's all about preparation. Cardio, cardio. Referee and now at five. A count out would move the Flowhawk ahead. He looks, looks like he's... He's trying to... Realign his knee. Referee now at eight. That boy Flohawk, he's a chiropractor yeah, Flo in the Hawk. past life. Flohawk doing some personal chiropractor, chiropractoring on his leg there, getting everything back into alignment. Hey, that's how the bounty stays in your paycheck. Don't got to spin shaking it yourself his, on a chiropractor. If shaking, you can do it his, yourself. shaking his leg there, trying to get all the blood flowing, but still staggering. Marshall was able to break that 10 count. Still tied up at eight and eight. Marshall striking low. Flohawk staggering away. Down on one knee. Marshall slowly but surely. Oh! Flohawk once again targeting the leg of the Marshall. Crashing down on the back of the Marshall now. Justin Flo. Trying to shake it off. Trying to shake it off, if you will, as you said there, Darion. Now working on the injured leg of the Marshall Briggs. Marshall not Just, had a time. Justin Flo was saying leg for a leg. That seems to have been the theme of this match. Marshall, Marshall oh, flopping ain't going around for like the leg a. No more. He said he wants the throat. He's got to watch now to get the ball. Oh, him. Marshall right across the head. Marshall flopping around like a fish out of water there momentarily. We are under five minutes. Under five minutes remaining, we are still all tied up. Stomping into the chest of Marshall Briggs once again. Flohawk going to the outside here, going to the high rent district. Marshall back up to his feet. Catching the Flohawk in his nest there. You know, Marshall said he's not a high flyer. All he needed was his fist and his boots. Suplex from the high rent. 
suplex from the high rent district. And both men come crashing down. Darion, who did that hurt more? Under four minutes remaining. And we're still all tied up at eight and eight. Referee doing the 10 count now. Now at three. Now at five. Now at six. No man moving. Laying there still. Is there any life left in either one? Referee now at eight. Two seconds away. Now at nine. Jason flows to his feet. Both men able to beat the count. Barely though. Marshall saying, come on. Exhaustion on the face of Marshall. Caught Justin Flo. Under three minutes remaining. Vicious laid on him, Justin Flo, but Marshall crashing down, he can't he capitalize. They can both barely stand on their feet. Big spine buster. Spine buster onto Justin Flo, flipping up and over. Two minute warning. Almost, as you said, almost two minutes remaining in this match. If the Marshall's gonna do something, it is now. Going for the pin attempt. No! Fullock able to count out. We are under two minutes remaining in this matchup. But we are still all tied up. Flohawk resting on, resting on the edge of the ring there. Marshall crashing down just in complete exhaustion. Is he going to take a draw? Neither man wants a draw. Nothing will be settled here at CWF Roadblock 23 if it is a draw. But we are all tied up, and we've got about a minute 30 remaining, a little under minute 30 remaining. Marshall up to his feet now. Flohawk re uh, was resting on the outside. Grabbing him by that Flohawk. Grabbing him by that uh, Mohawk. Marshall eating it from the- Trying to decapitate Marshall. Trying to do exactly that. One minute remaining. Under one minute he's remaining. Calling for, he's calling for it. Flying no. Marshall got, got him. him. Rock bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a pinfall for the Marshall, who moves ahead nine to eight. Under a minute remaining. Under 30 seconds remaining. Twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-two. Referee counting. Wait, going into submission hold now. Flowlock in a submission maneuver. Has ten seconds. seconds. Has eight seconds remaining. Has to just survive five seconds. Can he survive just one? Time has expired. Time has expired. Wait, wait, he just tapped, he just tapped, he's tapping. Time has expired! And ladies and gentlemen, with a final score of 9 to 8, here is your winner, Marshall Green! And Don, I don't know if you saw this, Marshall Briggs was tapping out, but unfortunately the clock hits zero. The Marshall was able to endure the final submission attempt by the Flowhawk and was able to edge out with one point, a victory here in the very first 30-minute Ironman matchup. Marshall matchup. Briggs was saved by the clock for that victory as he was tapping out. Both men left it all in the ring. Steel chairs, steel posts, eye pokes. Finisher after finisher 
But when the dust is settled, it is the American Outlaw with the victory over the Flow Hawk, Justin Flo. And I hope Justin Flo invested that bounty well because he's going to need it to pay his medical bills after this war. I don't know what you're watching, Donovan. From my point of view, neither one of these men can stand right now. Exactly, but I think we have a good HMO for both of them, not counting the investments. Marshall on his knees, Flohawk staggering away. And you know, I think if nothing else, the Flohawk has respect for the Marshall. You don't come if, into his if house. I, if I know Flohawk, and I think I do, he's keeping it in his mind of how he just, in the final moments of that matchup, he made Marshall tap out. That's going to stay in his head, and you know it's going to stay in Marshall's head. Unfortunately, it was not in time for the zero. History made here at CWF Roblox 2023. In our first ever 30-minute Ironman match, and it was the man who created this house, built it built by brick, the Marshall Dustin Briggs with the victory. And the crowd just showing their adulation on the lawman of the Coastal Wrestling Federation, who is a who is beyond exhausted, went 30 minutes with a man 15 years younger than him almost. Well, the marshal will live to ride into another sunset. Darion, even you have to be impressed with a, with a gauntlet like that. Like neither one of these men, had, like oh, just especially Justin Flo, he has nothing to be ashamed of. Neither Justin, one of no, Justin Flo represented himself very well in this matchup. Props to him, even though I hate saying it, and I might have to wash my mouth out with soap. Neither one of them has anything to be ashamed of, but you can't help but think the fun. I can't help but think about the final moments of that match. Marshall Briggs tapped out. Yes, but was able to hold on long enough. And now the marshal going to the back with a smile on his face, walking away with a victory over Justin Flo and this crowd showing their appreciation.